Hi everyone, my name is Mary and welcome back to Queen Ink. Today in this video we are going to be doing the Batman Blanket Middle Section 2.3. We are trying to finish Section 2. Don't forget it's going to be 1 to 15 for the foundation double crochet. You are going to need a lot of black yarn and a little bit of yellow yarn. And this is pretty much what it looks like, just like the graph. Okay, and then don't forget to grab your 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors. And yes, I did get sick, that's why I sound a little different, so I'm really sorry. I'm trying to get over it. Um, on top of that, let's get started with the Batman Blanket Middle Section 2.3. Alrighty, so I'm back. In order to start 2.3 middle section, you're going to need some black yarn and some yellow yarn. So make sure you have a black slip knot and a yellow slip knot ready. We're going to do 10 foundation double crochets in black. So put your black slip knot on your hook, your 5.5 millimeter hook. I'll tighten that a little bit. Okay, and you're going to chain two, so yarn over and go through the loop, yarn over and go through the second loop, yarn over, go back into that first stitch that you made, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, grab your working yarn and pull through that very first loop to make a chain, yarn over and go through those two loops yarn over and go through the last two loops. You just made a chain and a double crochet. Yarn over, go into that chain you just made, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop, grab your working yarn to make a loop, grab your working yarn and pull through two, grab your working yarn and pull through two to make two chains and two double crochets. You're always working on the bottom of your work. I am going to make 10 of these. Um, I'm actually going to make 9 and I will be back in just a moment. Alrighty, I am back and I made my 9 foundation double crochets. You can flip your work up, look on the top right here and see your stitches. So we'll pull that out real quick. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so nine foundation double crochets and on the tenth one this is where we're going to do our transition to that yellow that you see right down here. So we're going to yarn over, go into that chain, make sure I didn't split my yarn, yarn over and pull up a loop. Grab your working yarn and pull through that first loop to make a chain yarn over and only pull through two of those chains. You're going to drop your black yarn and you're now going to pick up your yellow one. I'm going to pull it so it's a little bit smaller. Yeah. Put that onto your hook and pull through both of those loops to finish off that double crochet and then pull on your black yarn to kind of secure that a little bit. You're going to pick up your yellow yarn tail and your black one and your black working yarn and you're going to make a double knot. Not too tight and not too loose. Okay. You're going to pick your work back up. We're going to pick this back up and we're going to make one, two, three, four, and five yellow foundation double crochets. So yarn over go into that chain, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop, grab your working yarn and pull through that first chain, grab your working yarn and pull through two, grab your working yarn and pull through two to make that chain and that yellow double crochet. I'm just going to pull on that to make sure everything's secure. I am going to make five of these and then I will be right back with you. Alrighty, so I am back and I actually made four. And if you're wondering why it's so quiet, I turned off my PlayStation because it was pretty loud. I'm not sure why that fan goes pretty loud. Um, so you're going to yarn over. We're going to make our last one go into that um, 
uh, chain down at the bottom, yarn over and pull through, yarn over to make a chain, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two to finish off with that double crochet. Now at this point, you're gonna pull your crochet hook out and you're gonna flip your work up and make sure not to cut off that black yarn because we're still gonna need it. And we are now going to count our stitches. We need to make sure we have 15 um, foundation double crochet. So count this first one with your hook on it. One, two, three, four, and five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Make sure you have fifteen foundation double crochets. Now that was row number one, and we are going to be working on row number two. Row number two consists of four yellow with four black transitions. Okay, and then all the rest of it will be all in black. We are going to chain one and turn our work, and we're going to double crochet into that very first uh, stitch. Excuse me, I had to think for a minute. Going to double crochet into that very first stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and into the next stitch, and the next. And then we're going to do our transition right here. So you're going to yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop. Grab your working yarn and only pull through two. Drop your yellow working yarn, pick up your black working yarn that should be in the front, yarn over and finish off that double crochet. Pull on the yellow to kind of secure it a little bit, yarn over, pick up that fake stitch, pick up the black stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two double crochet until you get to the end. So we'll do all four of these transitions. So we just did row two for the transition. So I will meet you back on row number three for the next transition. Alrighty, I am back. And like I always say, I meet you one stitch before the transition. So I met you one stitch before, so we're going to double crochet into that stitch. Oops. Okay. And now we're going to do the transition. So yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop. Grab your working yarn and only pull through two. Drop your black yarn and pick up your yellow yarn. Yarn over to finish off that double crochet. Pull on your black yarn to secure it. Yarn over, pick up the fake, pick up the stitch. Grab your working yarn and pull up a loop. Grab your working yarn and pull through two. Grab your working yarn and pull through two. So that is the third um, transition that we have to do. I'm going to do one more transition with you and then I will let you go for rows 5 all the way to 20 and I will meet you back on row 20. But before then, I will meet you back when we come back. It should be row number 4. I'll meet you one stitch before the transition. Alrighty, so I am back and I made it one stitch before the transition. So now we're going to yarn over and make that last double crochet. Oh, hold on. That last double crochet. And now we're going to do the transition. So yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop. Grab your working yarn and pull through two. Drop that yellow yarn and pick up your black yarn. Yarn over and pull through both stitches to finish off that double crochet. Pull on that yellow. 
yarn over, pick up the fake, pick up the stitch, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop, grab your working yarn and pull through two, grab your working yarn and pull through two. Now at this point, you are going to want to pull your hook out and you're gonna to wanna to cut this yarn. I had to figure out where my scissors were. Make a long tail because you are going to sew this into your work right here um, or else this will come out. So you will want to cut a long tail. You are done with your yellow yarn now. We are on row number four. Okay, so one, two, three, four, as you can see. For rows four all the way to 20, we'll now be in black yarn. You will just double crochet in black over these yellow stitches. Okay, because you're done. We are working on the bat portion of the Batman blanket. This is the middle section. Uh, we are on 2.3. If you have made it this far into the video, please do not forget to scroll down, hit that like button so I know you're enjoying this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more crochet tutorials such as this one and others I will have in the future. On top of that, really shortly, when we are finished with the middle section of this big Batman blanket, I will work on the baby Batman blanket for those of you that have um, requested it. Um, I am so sorry it's taking me so long. I am actually working on it and I'm almost done. So once I finally finish this blanket, I will have a pattern for the baby Batman blanket. We will work on those. Alrighty, so now we are at the end of row number four. All you're going to do is chain one, double crochet in black for five to 20 rows. I will see you in 20 rows. Alrighty, so I'm back. And I know I said I'd meet you 20 rows, but this is what I was talking about. You're just going to double crochet right on top of the yellow like this. Nothing too fancy, nothing too hard. And then that's it. And then there you go. So that would be row number five. And that's all you do. And this is what it'll look like, just like in the picture. As you can see, that one little yellow spot. But this section that you see right here, this is going to be the bat's body. Um, so it'd be his midsection. Whereas we were doing it from the bottom up, this will be his midsection. Okay, so I will see you in 20 rows. All right, everyone, I am back and I have one stitch before I am done. And yep, the PlayStation is actually back on again. Um, I had to clean it. So that's probably why it was making so many noises. So that's wonderful. So what we're going to do is we're gonna pull out our hook. I finished the 20 rows. I'm sorry if I'm not sounding too um, normally like the same. I got sick for five days and uh, I've been trying to get over it. Okay, so let's give these a wonderful count and then I will cut off my yarn and we'll finish the video. Okay, so one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So that's twenty rows all in black yarn. We're going to cut our yarn, yarn over, and pull right through. So if you are wondering what this is, this was 2.3 middle section for the Batman blanket. We are now doing the bat section. Uh, the wing section should be done. Remember you had to make two of the wing sections. Um, for the bat sections, you only have to make one. Alrighty, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to scroll down, hit that like button, let me know you're enjoying this video. 
and also subscribe if you would like to see more unique tutorials such as this one and others I will have in the future. And until next time, everybody have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.